Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the cows in the distance if you were with me yesterday with our triangles. Um, this is a great way of painting animals. If you're new to painting animals or you've never put animals in your landscapes before, these simple techniques are a great way to get you started. And so today we're going to do sheep. And all we're going to do, we're going to start with a loaf of bread or something that looked like a loaf of bread anyway, like that. But obviously in a painting, you do that a lot smaller. And then at the end, we're going to give him a head and we're going to give him a sausage and a triangle. And this would all be filled in. You wouldn't see these lines. I'll show you that in the finished painting in just a moment. And if you want the sheep standing facing you, we just do an upside down horseshoe. Then we do another sausage and we do another triangle and you've got a sheep facing you and he already starts to look like a sheep. And you do this a lot smaller than you would in your paintings. In your real paintings, you do these a lot smaller. And just to very quickly show you, you will need to use your pencils and shade your grass around your sheep before you actually add some colour, which we will be doing. So you'll need to do that. And likewise, this one here, you will need to paint in all the grass that you want to do that your sheep are standing in or laying in before you actually paint your sheep. So we'll do that now. So I'm going to pop that over there and bring in a painting, which I've already done, which I did yesterday, if you remember, with our cows. And all we're going to do, we are going to, actually, we're not going to bother with any water this time. I know I've got some out, but we won't use it. And we're going to use a light gray, any light gray you've got in whatever brand of pencil that you've got is absolutely fine. And we're just going to start, as you can see, I've drawn these a lot smaller. This one is laying down and we're just going to shade on some pale grey. In fact, if we do these all together, then you can see it building up. And we'll do this one over here. He's standing over there. Do it in this scumbling, this circular motion, which represents the wool on or the fleece on our sheep. And we're going to use a white pencil just to blend that in a bit, just like that. So we'll carry on doing that on that one, this chap here that's standing there looking at us. And this one over here. And then all we've got to do is add the heads. And I think we're going to, or the faces, and we're going to give our sheep black faces because they're easier to see. And all you do is you go over that little bit there, which represents his ears, and fill in the face. And we do that one there. We do the same to this one here, standing looking at us. So you just fill it in. You can blend these with water if you want to, but to be honest, they don't really need it because they're so small. Just a basic pencil blend will do. And this last one over here. We're just going to do the same here. Pop his ears in on the top of his head. And bring that down like that. And you have sheep in a field. In fact, they're quite close to us. So as you can see, although these are quite close, they were done with simple techniques, but they look like sheep. We know that they were loaves of bread, sausages and triangles, but they look, our brain is telling us that they look like sheep. So I hope you've enjoyed that and you find it useful and have a go at painting sheep in your own landscapes if you've not done it before. And tomorrow, we will be painting a sitting dog, perhaps in his front yard or front garden. And again, using very simple techniques. So do pop back tomorrow and we'll do our dog. And if you wanted to do these birds in the sky, all you've got to do, let's get a slightly different colour. It's just like an inverted V, really. I wasn't going to do this, but just as an extra thought, you just do like that and like that. Couldn't be simpler. So there you go, an added extra bonus, which I wasn't planning. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please do give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss a video. And please stay very safe, have fun with your paintings, and I'll see you tomorrow for our sitting dog. And until then, bye bye.